your tyre related needs and a fantastic service, call or drop into Phillips Tyres in Oxford. Today we're going to talk about how to shoot rabbits. A lot of people, they either love or they hate rabbits. Quite easy, they're the only target that rolls along the ground. And most people miss a rabbit high and in front because they forget every time that rabbit hits that ground, it's slowing down. So there is a certain way that I use to teach people how to shoot rabbits. And that's what we're going to try and teach you in this film how to do. So a rabbit is generally quite thick. And every time they hit that ground, the people don't think about it, but they slow down. So that's the most important thing that you need to be thinking is most people, they go through a rabbit and they let the rabbit come out like that and they rush through it. And most people miss a rabbit high and in front. And I say to most people, unless a rabbit is miles away, 50, 60 yards, the most important thing with a rabbit, get your routine right, hold your nerve and shoot its front feet. And you think to yourself, you run, that's the clay running there and you run your eyes along the bottom edge of that clay and you think to yourself, shoot its front feet. But most people do that because they lift the head off the gun or something like that. So that is really the best way of, of shooting that rabbit. And so if you think to yourself, if you get to a shoot and you go to a registered shoot or something like that and you think, oh, I've come to the rabbit stand, I hate rabbits. Look at that rabbit, read that rabbit. If that rabbit is 30 yards away, just think to yourself, hold your nerve and shoot its front feet. And its front feet is generally about, you're looking at about a foot in front of it. If it goes further than probably 30 yards, then you'll need to think about giving it some lead. But you've also got to think about getting underneath it. So a lot of people give it lead, but they also come over the top of it. So you've got to think to yourself underneath it and get in front of it. So if you watch, So I'm going to kill the rabbit there. I come back to my hold point. Pull. That didn't work, did it? As a lot of people say, they're pretty much the original pot shots. Um, when you had manual traps, rabbits were very easy to roll along the grass. People used to make channels and roll the rabbit down because a rabbit is quite thick. So I'm going to kill the rabbit there. Pull. Pull. Hold your nerve. Pull. So as you can see, it was very, very easy. This is quite a slow rabbit. It's very easy to look at that rabbit and go whipping through in front of it. And especially if you think to yourself, your arms, most people's arms do the work. The movement should come from the body. So that rabbit, if you look at my whole body, I'm moving the whole body. I'm not just moving the arms. If you just move the arms, that's where you think to yourself, that's where you go and miss it in front. And most rabbits are missed in front. So think to yourself, just think we're going to kill it, come back to the hold point. Again, if you hold that gun too close to where the rabbit's coming from, you'll end up chasing it. So if I call pull now, pull, I, I, I'll end up chasing after it. So you've got to hold that gun out on its hold point first. So if it jumps, in my eyes, if it jumps, I try and wait for it to go back down. So if you look at that rabbit, pull. So that one didn't jump at all. But if it does jump, it's always going to come back down. So try and let the jump go out and then shoot it back on its way down. If you have to jump it, shoot it in the air, then think to yourself where it's going. But try and think to yourself bottom edge. So if that gun is up here, let it come down and just shoot underneath it. But in the try and let the jump go. So again, I'll show you if it jumps, I'll show you the difference. 
pull. So if you look, it jumped, I let the jump go, I let it down and I shot it my normal way. So, pull. So, you close the gun up, I'm gonna kill it there. I take my gun back to there and I look here. Pull. So, I hold my gun there, I take my gun, I kill it there, I take my gun back and I look there, pull. 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 So that's a good way of learning about how to shoot it. Now we're gonna go down and we're gonna shoot a 50 yard rabbit. So, back to my rabbits, and I'm now, we've done a close rabbit, I'm now going to show you a 50 yard rabbit. Where is the easiest place to kill it? Now most people, they kind of get onto it, and they want to shoot it really late. Now the later you leave this target, the harder it is, it's getting further and further away. So you've got to think to yourself, I'm going to kill it about right in the middle of its path. I'm going to pick it up from the trap, I'm going to hold my gun about there. So that's my routine. Now, I'm going to run my gun along the bottom edge of that target and I say to people, if anything, shoot the tops of the grass. Because it gets, it's just a way of getting people underneath that rabbit. And I'm going to go through it and this is the only thing that I would say that a rabbit needs a lead is when it's sort of 45, 50 yards away. So I'm going to go through it and I'm going to give that rabbit a good chunk of lead about a metre lead and I'm going to pull the trigger and I'm going to keep my gun moving. So if you look at my gun, I'm going to mount my gun there, pull. 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 Now, I see about three or four foot on that rabbit. And the reason why, A, a rabbit clay is really thick, but it, it's that far away. So that's the only time. But I also remember my method is get underneath it. So most people will shoot that and they go with the clay so that's the clay and they go and they're up here somewhere. So you've got to think to yourself like that. And on something like that, even more. Pull. And then the next rabbit is going to be something like this. Most people look at that and they think, Oh, easy. You've already heard, you've always heard of the D bird on the rabbit mania. Now I have to say, I've seen more people miss this rabbit than anything else. And the reason why is it goes completely against the method of shotgun shooting. It comes down, it almost stops there. And you've almost got to rifle shoot this target. And what most people do, especially when you put a fast rabbit like the one out the back and this one, is you're going really fast and then you've got to slow yourself up and almost shoot straight at that rabbit. And that's where your routine and experience will come in and help. So, we're just going to shoot that one. Pull. And most people will miss this when they're under pressure or something like that, because they're in a swing, they're really moving, especially when you shoot the rabbit mania, you've got the whole swing moving, you've got the gun moving, you've got the body going, 
and then you come to this and you've got to kind of stop yourself. So that is where you've really got to think to yourself how you prepare yourself for a target like that. So, pull. Pull. Hold your nerve, hold your nerve. And now I'm going to put the pair together. So I'm going to do the back bird followed by the front bird on the port. So I'm going to go like the clappers and keep everything going nicely and smoothly on the first one. I'm going to hold the nerve and I'm going to pull the brakes on on the second one. Watch. Pull. 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 And if you look at what I do halfway, I actually mount that gun and I actually do that just to slow myself down on that second bird. So I don't hold it into my shoulder, just to say, right, well, I've really got to slow down, I've got to steady up on that. So again, different targets, different techniques is the, is the way to look at it, reading that target. Couple more. Pull. First one I missed. Pull. And that was my rabbits. So we've covered average sort of 25, 30 yard rabbit, a 50 yard rabbit, and one that's really slow. So I hope that helps you. Any questions on this, please comment below. Any questions you've got on shooting rabbits, please comment below. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Please share to your friends, and have a look at what other films we've done. And it's all there to try and encourage you to get into shooting this great sport.